What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So XEMU, the original Xbox emulator, has a Vulkan renderer that is currently a work in progress on their GitHub. As you can see, it's a branch called Feech slash Renter. You can grab the builds from Actions. You have to be logged into GitHub to be able to scroll down and grab them, of course. And we have it in the background running right now. Now, some intros do not work and I don't expect all games to work. As you can see, there were some graphical issues, some squaring on the 2D image. I don't even know if this is going to go in game, but if it does, that would be pretty cool. Ah, so it does go in game, but is it full performance? That is the main question. That is honestly the most important question because the reason I started with this one to begin with was because it had the most issues out of all of the games and major regressions as well. So uh, this is pretty big. And yeah, it is full speed once again. Thank you. So Vulcan already is a miracle child in its own right. And of course, the reason being is, well... What do you expect? It's a damn good backend. Now, I want to go to system. We are on HDTV. I want to also go to scale. We're going to go to this. I know this is horrible looking. There we go. Awesome. Now, if we turn around. Oh, wow. So this already outperforms OpenGL. And I know there's a friend of mine who's going to love the fact that this game is finally fixed. And maybe he can get back to modding some ex emu games to be beyond normal fps so this is the first title of many that we will be checking out let's go and check out some other games now this is going to be one of those videos where i don't really do much editing and the reason being is because well ah eh, who needs it i just want to do some dirty testing y'all okay that started up pretty quickly but the performance is not so good in the intro videos which, I mean, is completely fine. I don't mind that at all. What I do want out of this, of course, is for it to just run well enough on its own. So there you go. The FPS is up in the left-hand corner. And I know you're probably wondering, why can't you run Mango HUD? Because this is a VM. Believe it or not, this is a virtual machine that uses modified memory to accelerate the graphics from what I remember. It's very crazy what they do. And that allows this whole thing to run. So technically you're running it in virtual hardware. We're going to hit done. And hopefully we don't run into infinite loading like we've done many, many times before. Because in the past this game has run so poorly on OpenGL just on this emulator. And... Come on, wake up. Oh, wow. Okay, so far we've got 30 FPS. But what happens... Oh, and we're at 20? It's not that bad that we're at 20. I mean, we are scaling. Let's turn it to native resolution and truly give this a go. Uh, 1x. There we go. So, no matter what we scale it at, it's going to be pretty low FPS. Oh, well, we're heading down to the town... This is, yeah, this is as bad as I thought it would be. This game does some crazy things. And honestly, I didn't really expect it to do much better than it normally did. Next, we're going to be trying Forza Motorsports. This is the very first title in the series. And you're going to have to forgive me because I need to put my microphone down for this one. Uh, but you guys have audio and stuff in the background so i don't really think you're gonna end up needing me per se uh for this and if i could honestly i would put the microphone somewhere else but it's wireless and uh that's in itself a problem you know all right i don't know if this is gonna do anything Try to click here again. Oh, oh, there we go. New profile. Gotta press A to start. I am holding the uh, microphone up to my mouth here with the controller. Yeah, we're gonna go with an arcade race. 
and Maple Valley is a very stressful one with Class D. No, I don't want Class D cars. I want B? No, Bs are also lame. Class A? Getting closer. Class S? Oh yeah, Class S it is. Let's go with this kid, this guy right here. Let's get okay. So this is one of my favorite classics what got me into Forza to begin with back in the days when I used to like racing, racing games and start race. Game looks good. It's not bad. It's running pretty good, but you'll see if this problem with this performance is solved. Did we die? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. So we're going to eject disk, load disk, and that actually ran really well, surprisingly. So I'm very impressed about that. I want to try Halo Combat Evolved. I'm going to do a reset. So as you can see, it works like an actual Xbox, which is nice. And... Well, minus the whole freezing thing, because I don't think Xboxes do that, you know? Yeah, so it is what it is. Alright, well, we're going to just jump straight into being able to control the game, campaign, Pillar of Autumn. We're going to just go with easy, and we're going to see what happens. Loading super quick, which is nice. So... Vulcan's very efficient, fast, compiling shaders and stuff. And, uh, this is running really well. Wow. So we're going to do one better. We're going to go to 1x and we're going to change this to 10x. And it's still running really well. Look at that. Did you see the detail jump in that, by the way? If you haven't noticed, I mean, you look at the grate. Like, go back and look at the grate. It just pops into detail and the textures and the distance increase by so much game scaling is groundbreaking like changing the resolution of older retro titles is incredibly mind-blowing when you first notice it and when i first noticed how good this game looks at a modern resolution it was mind-blowing but as you can see there were some graphical issues underneath the grate over here unless that's supposed to be like that i'm not really sure Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But uh, yeah, this one seems to actually do really, really well, which is nice. Now, I'm not purposely trying to rush through all of these. The problem is I'm trying to keep this, uh, this video entertaining and trying to keep your, your focus here because this is a pretty big win for this emulator. So right now they're talking about changing this oh god that's horrible oh inverted controls b rather have it the other way thank you leave it like this yeah brain changes you know from to time to time you know uh let's see if we can turn off v-sync display and refresh rate off I don't know if this game allows for refresh rate to be disabled. I guess it doesn't. Oh well. Yeah, this feels pretty smooth. There's no input latency issues that I can detect by jumping. It feels a lot better than it does on the Master Chief Collection, unfortunately, where jumps are a little bit iffy for that one. Oh yeah, in case you didn't know, you could actually jump up here pretty easily. 
I wish there was a way where we could just jump in here and like glitch out of the room early. I think that would have been pretty cool. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. He's captured me. I get too obsessed with Halo, so we're going to move on now. Oh, that particle effect really does slow down in past iterations of the game, and I'm glad it does not here. So I'm going to hit load disk, and now we're going to move on to Tony Hawk Pro Skater Underground because, you know, pro, pro, you know, it's just a good game. Honestly, it's one of my favorite games in the Tony Hawk series. Probably didn't get a flack for that, but it was the first one that did uh, integrating the story mode correctly. And that was pretty cool. So let's do classic mode, which I never knew existed until the other day. Start a new classic mode, normal. Uh, yeah, sure. I actually have to go down and hit done. Cool. Uh, let's just go with Tony himself. And play level. Sure. Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. I think there's illegal music going on in my video. Can't have that. Sorry. Yeah, there's still some minor issues. But, uh... Oh, this is where you actually have to do a combo to collect all of the combo letters. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm gonna practice, man. I mean, this is running okay. This is not reaching 60, but we are, again, scaling. Probably doing better than it used to do, again. It's stupid crap letter. Ah, uh, I crashed. Damn it. That sucks. I was really actually getting into that. Oh, it completely took out the emulator. Damn. Oh, well. You got it right back up. So let's move on to the next game uh, in the list, which I believe should be Halo 2. Because that one was definitely known to not perform very well at all either so let's go to scale it to stretch and 16 by 9 and let's also grab out this monitor here which we're gonna make invisible and right out of the gate if it performs well it already performs better than the original OpenGL which it does wow full full performance right out of the box don't sign in campaign Let's go with new. Start this stuff. Yeah, because we're a heretic. We're a badass, it seems. We're amazing. All jokes aside. Yes, it is actually 4 a.m., by the way. Now, this emulator is awesome. The OpenGL backend's great, but it just it had its limitations. And I'm glad that this new one's been put in place because honestly, yeah, right out of the gate. The performance is definitely better. Wow, because usually we would have to pause this and create what's called a snapshot and then load that snapshot to get the real performance because there was an issue. Well, I guess it was all just got it up from Sandman this morning. Yada, yada, yada. All right, let's see. Yeah, we are doing really well right now. This is actually performing ridiculously well. Oof, it's inverted. I don't like that. Ugh, why is it inverted already? Ew. No. Cannot do this. Uh, button layout. Look inversion. Disabled. Thank you. All right, let's jump around. What I want to do is I want to see, yes, that graphical bug is, of course, still there, which is what I wanted to notice. But the performance is just top freaking notch. What up, buddy? All right, let's take a look at, yeah, we are at 1x resolution. Let's try 10. 
Now, back in the past, 10x resolution would friggin' cripple this game. We're talking about just absolutely annihilate the performance to dust. But now, look at this. This is incredible. There's spikes here and there, but I think this is going to be a much better back end to play Halo 2 on the original Xbox emulator than before in the past. This is great. Wow. All right, moving on to the next title, since this was Halo 2. You already did Combat Evolved. I do want to do Ninja Gaiden Black, but I don't know. I mean, the intro, apparently they say it's bugged. And this video is long enough as it is already. But I got to do it. If I don't, I'm going to get yelled at by people, you know? So let's jump into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warnings. Now there's a pause button, as you can see. And let's just get rid of that. Start this up. And we're going to hit new game. The, evil dark the dark dragon blade. A legendary sword. Yada, yada, yada. Remember, if you're testing this, report any issues that you have. I think you can probably do that on the GitHub or in their Discord if you're testing this. This definitely seems like a major upgrade compared to before. Now, this video is probably really long already, and I don't really like doing really, really long videos unless they're super important. And this is a super major thing to happen to this emulator, so I guess that's the reason why we're doing it. Come on, start, will you? Now, if you know anything about this game, you know it takes forever to get in-game, so we're going to pause this here. Alrighty then, here we go. We're in game right now. Well, we're about to head in game and we're going to see how this thing performs. And we get a lock 60. Just like that. Not only that, but we're still at 10x resolution. Which means that's awesome. I am super enthusiastic about this new backend. Vulcan has been a game changer for Rayojinx, RPCSX, RPCS3, and multiple other things. And the PS2 emulator is coming along really well. And uh, it's just like everything is coming together emulation wise. So yeah. Oh, and the reason I don't have Conker's Bad Fur Day is because I just, I got tired of waiting for things to grab from my server. So I just, uh, you got to get live with this. You got to live with this bunch of stuff, okay? But I will do a follow up video as things progress along and as things end up getting better. So you can look forward to that. And we're about to get into a fight. Okay. Die. And we're getting Shader Stutter. Oh. Did she die? Yeah, well, it did. it did end up crashing. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, nonetheless, that was some fun testing. And I'm bad at this again. And I'll probably be doing... More testing. Ooh. In another video down the road, as I said, as this thing uh, progresses farther. Because I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And subscribe. And I will see you guys. Ooh. Next time. This has been XEMU. The original Xbox emulator. I think I just missed that one second. I gotta... No. No. Ah. Bye, everybody.